What's up, Deaners? We're here in Ghosts of Tabor with the Nuclear Knight M4, all kitted out for me, and our nifty Swifty uh, Golden Mac 11. This is going to be the start of a new series where I am going to teach you all the maps. We're going to start with Missile Silo, firstly, because it's the smallest and easiest to learn off the bat. And I want to do Mop Kamiyas last. I know that's the one everyone wants to learn right now. But I'm going to wait until the 22nd. They're adding new stuff to that map. And they're going to add a fourth map. So um, we're going to wait for that because... Um, oops. We're going to wait for the uh, Mott uh, Two There's two buildings opening up the cathedral and the uh, museum. So we are going to show you that map once those are open. So this week is going to be Missile Silo. And I will do Island of Tabor next week. And then we will do Mott Um... So, yeah, because I'll need time to also learn my coming up. So we're going to go into a training right here. I uh, brought some NVGs because I know Missile Silo is a darker map. I will edit in post to brighten things up, but I'll show you, I'll show you all with both settings, with both NVGs on and off, what the map looks like. So we're going to go ahead and start in the basement. We're going to go ahead and take the express elevator down. Just gather. So weird, these uh, this, these are the best NVGs I have. It's weird that they're blue. I mean, I get it, it's blue phosphorus NVG, but it just, it looks so much different than the other two that are green. Hey, no scabs. Okay, so, here we are in the uh, bottom floor, level zero, zero. So let's start at this spawn point here. So this is the uh, first player spawn point, and we'll put the NVGs on for reference. So you spawn right here in this dark room at the end of this hallway here. Um, <clears throat> I don't know what you would call this room as far as call out, um, just dark room. Um, but players will sometimes come back here to uh, camp the um, sewers extract. So there's two tunnels here. Um, this is your first landmark in the bottom. Uh, we call this elevator shaft. So elevator shaft is one of the central one of the central landmarks in on this floor. That right there where my laser is, is the extract. That is the uh, basement extract or sewers extract. You'll hear it referred to as some of those. Um, this second tunnel here, uh, it connects to that last one that I just showed you. Um, laterally, right here, we have this small lane here. Um, so all this tunnel does is it goes back to that spawn and over to wrap around to elevator shaft. Elevator shaft. Obviously, again, elevator shaft right there. We'll talk about that tunnel and that room over there in a second. We're going to come over here. This is what I call four-story stairs. It's the only stairwell in the uh, map that gives you access to all four levels of the missile silo. So that's why I call it four-story stairs. Um, and there's a loot crate here. Uh, loose loot can spawn right there. A scab can spawn right here. So watch out for that. That's an easy one to sneak up behind and snap his neck because he's always facing this wall for some reason. Um, we also have potential for up to three scabs to spawn in this hallway and up to three sp scabs to spawn around this corner here. So you got to watch out for that when you spawn down here. Um, but that's the only spawn point. There's two spawn points on this floor. Uh, I'll show you the other one in a second. That one and the other one is all the way on the other side of the map. So let's come over here towards the extract. This is what I call main sewer hall. So main sewer hall goes all the way from elevator shaft to the extract. If we check this room right here, Kurtek spawns in this room right here. So people will call this Kurtek basement room. You can call it sector three. That's what it's labeled here on the wall. Um, if you learn the sector names, just make sure your team knows the names too, because they are helpful. Um, sector three, obviously, Kurtek's room or Kurtek basement, because there are two Kurtek rooms. But you can also just say bottom boss spawn, bottom boss room. Those are good call outs. So now let's head back up main hall, and we're going to swing towards this way. This goes to the missile. So this is the other main landmark that I would say. There's a scab there. That's why we brought the uh, M4. Take out scabs. So this is the other main landmark, um, missile silo. Obviously, this is the actual missile part. Um, so you can just call this a missile. Um, this, is, this is the other part that gives you access to every level. Um, I guess I neglected to mention that at fourth story stairs. Um, so yeah, the, there you go. Um, it uh, there's not much to it other than this is just you know a central area of the map. 
This is the other player spawn. Um, some people call this basement gate. <coughs> this is the other player spawn. Some people call this basement gate. Some people just call this bottom of the ladder. Um, either of those are good call outs. I would just say basement gate. That's the best call out I can think of. So, um, yeah. And I just realized I should have been... I'm going to have trouble climbing this ladder. But we're going to go uh, up this ladder real quick. And um, I don't know what... So this room doesn't really come into play much, this room. Um, so I don't know what you'd call it. Um, this room doesn't come into play much, so I don't know what you'd call it. But um, you could call it uh, just two floor stairs or... Uh, back of map stairs because this is the back of silo. This is pretty relatively unused I would say um, there's no sector signs or anything So <clears throat> I'll, I'll take you up to the top and then we're gonna go back to the basement We've seen all of the bottom floor though. There's four floors in total It comes to in here Scavarino. So it comes to in this room here, which uh, I would call rat's nest um you find a lot of rats hiding uh, in the in this room. Uh, it's not really a good rat's nest, but it's like the only rat's nest that people hide in on this map. So, rat's nest would be a good call out for this room, uh, or spools. This is one of the only rooms with this many spools. So you could call this rat stairs or spool stairs. Uh, I'm just making these up as I go though. So do whatever feels comfortable. But that's that's where that is, and it connects to the basement gate extract or not extract sorry basement gate spawn which is right here i'm gonna use this nifty swifty mac 11 for the rest of this so um we're gonna go back to the four story stairs now because um that is the it's the best spot to show you the different levels from so we are going to go there the four story stairs again right here next to the uh back basement spawn or uh you know, so this is level zero one. So yeah, basement is zero zero. I don't think it's lay marked anywhere down here, but all the other floors are marked. So it's that's technically the first floor. So it's kind of confusing. I would just say basement, level two, level three, level four. I would not say level one. That gets confusing because people think you're talking about level zero. Um, I know they made it really easy on everyone. So this is level uh, level one, um, second floor. There's a scab that spawns over there, and there's a scab that spawns over there. Sometimes, so you sometimes will get both. You sometimes will get neither. So you just look out for that. That creates a good spawn. I'm gonna show you all. So this is called trains, and this is called containers. So tracks, containers, because we have this this railroad that leads out. So um, there is a player spawn here. I forgot to mention the other players one, but we'll get back to that. So, so this is sector one for containers. I would just call it containers. Um, and here is a neat thing about containers. Every time you play silo, check this and take this uh, electronic wallet. Even if you're naked, get here first and hide it somewhere. Hide it somewhere inconspicuous, like right here. No one's going to look at that. You know what I mean? No one's going to notice that right there. And make sure you put it face down so they can't see the red and white advantage. So you hide it there. You go play your naked run. You know, you may screw some other player. Or I always hide it right here, especially if this is my extract. No one's ever going to see that. They're always going to just come check this, loot it, extract, or run off. So if you're the first one here, get that wallet. It's worth, a, it, well, it's worth between 200 and 200,000 Karunas. Um... And if you just repeat it over and over again, you're gonna, eventually, you're gonna hit the jackpot. You know what I mean? It's a lottery that's free, pretty much. So, that's containers. Containers extract is at the back there. A scab will spawn there. Players don't normally hide here, but this is a decent rat spot. If you're a rat, you can hide right here. Players don't, I mean, they'll check that crate, but they won't see you. Right here's a decent spot if you want to camp the electronic wallet. Like, don't grab it and just camp it. Players won't check there, or if you're camping this extract, no one really takes this extract though. But hiding right here is good. Back here is good. There's a lot of rat spots here too. But 
I just rat ratting on silo just doesn't make much sense. So I wouldn't do it unless you're really, really desperate. So let's head towards the train track side, and we'll show you where the player spawns at. Um, there is a medical crate here, by the way. I've been trying to do a, a decent job of showing you where all the loot spots are, but it's a little difficult sometimes. So, you know, uh, high chance of a med spawning, or a, a bandage spawning, decent lower chance of a med spawning. Here's an ammo can. You can sometimes find boxes of ammo in there. There's tracks for trains, train tunnel. This is where a player spawns at, right there. Possible player spawn, and if you, so, Every, every part of the map has these, you know, they wrap around, they meet together. So this way, all right, I got an itch. So there's like a piece of hair tickling my nose and I don't like it. Okay. So, so at the back of tracks, there's this room up that way is containers. We come through this door here, over here, red light. Some people call this there's a lot of spots on the map that are red that people call red room there's only one true red room and i'll show you that later so this i would just say that's joker so this one's an easy one so you come out here on level two that, that's sector two not level two but this is level two like that's level zero this is level one but you know it says zero zero here so this is sector zero so yeah it's like one two zero one two for the rooms Joker, this is just called Joker. You could call it control panels, but Joker is the main one. Um, there's a med cabinet in here. Oh, look, we got lucky and we found an NRS. There's a med cabinet in here. There's a wooden crate in here. Decent, decent, if you're naked and you spawn tracks, run in here. Decent chance of a gun. A scab spawns in here sometimes. Sometimes a scab spawns out here on this um, metal ring. I think we killed one earlier, didn't we? Pretty sure we killed one up here somewhere. Anyway, if you're naked, come out here because there's two, there's four crates. You have a decent chance of getting a gun. Look, we just found some attachments. In here, we just found a G3, G3 uh, A1 uh, magazine. So, anyway, so this is the uh, this is where uh, level two connects to the uh, the second floor connects to the missile, and that's the second floor. That's all there is. But yeah, if you're naked, come from tracks, check Joker, check level or, uh, uh, room two. Um, or you, uh, I mean, obviously first go to containers and get that wallet. But so we're going to go back to four-story stairs. That's kind of where we're connecting everything together. So. Anyway, and obviously there's also this crate that I showed. But yeah. Go up the four-story stairs. This first landing is a closed elevator that you can open, and it squeaks when you open it. There's uh, up to three scavs spawning here. I don't know how I just killed them both. Anyway, so yeah, so another squeaky elevator door. There's two on the map. This is level, uh, you know, level two, the third floor. Sector 6. So I always call this Sector 6. Some people call this Red Room. Some people call this Skull Room. I call it Sector 6. That's the easiest. That's There's no mistaking that with any other place on the map. It's Sector 6. Um, you can say Skull Room because it's... So uh, I'll get to that in a second. Anyway, in Sector 6, you have three up to three scabs. We just got two SKSs and, and you know eight magazines for those SKSs right there. There is a lootable cabinet here, which can spawn the rifle. There we go, SKS. The locker, I mean. There are three of these wooden crates, I believe. One, two, there's two, sorry. Two wooden crates back here, and a med cabinet. So you have decent loot here. Another locker, once you come back into this back part, there's a loose loot spawn on this barrel. We got an MP5. So if you're naked, this is a good area to get to quick. Um, you won't really have a lot of competition if you spawn in sewers and run straight here, or if you spawn on the fourth floor, which we'll get to um, later in the video. So you can come back here, 
they call this, I believe they call this Narrows or Green Hall. York's skull. And look, we got lucky. So York was here. York was air because it's British, you know. That's, or um, I think he's British or Australian. Anyway, the accent. There is a skull spawn. This is where 20,000 Karunas or can be used to open the House of Scott tavern. So we have that there. There's a large wooden crate here, and this hallway leads to the, I believe it's called the Narrows Extract. Hold on, let me, uh, <clears throat> let me turn on my compass. Yeah. Yeah, this is called Narrows, so I was double checking. I didn't want to give false information there, so let's turn that back off. I don't like to sh I don't like the compass on because it's just distracting for the viewer. But so people can camp. Oh, and there's a little there's a little pixel glitch here, Scott. If you're watching, let you know about that. Looks like I can see into the. Oh, I can see the uh, stairwell. No, no, I can see the uh, fourth floor. Is it or is that garage? No, it can't be garage. I'm on the same level as garage. That's got to be the um, locker rooms that I'm looking into right there. Anyway, so this is the Narrows Extract. you got to crouch to get through that hole, and then you run down here, and bam. And it looks like we can extract there. So if you spawn sewers, you can probably extract there as well. Which, or, you know, sewers level zero. It's technically not a sewer, but everyone calls it sewers, and it looks kind of like a sewer with those tunnels and the gross murky boards. So we go with it. <laughs> So from here, so this is the biggest part of the map, level three. Level three, third floor is the biggest part of the map. So up this hallways, that's where we came in, the squeaky elevator, four story stairs. 90 degrees to the left is this long hallway. I, I, I'm trying to think of a good call out. I just call this sector six hallway. Remember, this is sector six, sector six hall. Or you could call it, or you could call it uh, window hall because it's got this window here. Um, there is a way to jump through this window, although I cannot pull it off. Some players can. I don't know how you do it. So anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna attempt it. Um, this is what it looks like with NVGs on. Oops, sorry about that. Um, you can you can jump through this though. There is a way. It's just escapes me. I've tried. I've tried many a time to jump through. Anyway, there's a way to get through that. Um, skilled players can get through here and uh, flank you from this side. So, yeah, I would call that Sector 6 Hall. I'd call this Main Hall. This is kind of the uh, where most of the gunfights go down because players from that side of the map are coming to Sector 6. And players from that side of the map are coming to Sector 6. Because they all want to loot or skull. So, there's that. Um, we're going to go this way because we're going to take the dead end route. So here's the other tie-in. Here's the missile. So remember, on the first floor, if we go... Let's see here. Let me get, let me get turned correctly. On the first floor, we go that way. And we get connected to the four-story stairs over there. That. So, main hall. I call this room. I'm gonna just point out this room real quick. At the end of main hall, I call this three way. There's three doorways. I know there's like that one's a three way too, but this is like the main three way. Like this is this is important. So people also call this red room. You can call this red junction. That's actually a pretty good call out for this red junction because it's bright and red and it's a pretty. It's an important junction, especially. If Pertex spawns in there, so we'll get we'll get to that in a second. I'm gonna go the other way, down main hall, take a right towards the vault. So we're here at the missile silo. This room, I don't know what you would call this room. Room five, I guess. This is like sector five almost. It's not really sector five. It's just room five. But yeah, this is the fifth doorway. But yeah, uh, I would call this room five, I guess. Um, there's a good chance for a journal. Loose loot spawns there and there and there sometimes. 
a journal, fishing rod, a tackle box usually, sometimes toilet paper. That's pretty much all I've ever found there. Um, you can call this bollard room because <laughs> there's these bollards here or ballards, however you pronounce it. Depends on where you're from. Um, decent rat spot if you're uh, naked or low gear. Oh, shoot. I didn't bring any food or water in. But anyway, if you're, uh, if you're low gear, you can stand right here um, with a pistol or a small gun. And uh, this is a decent rat spot as well. When the players come from kitchen slash offices slash vault, they'll never check this. And that's a Dino guarantee. Not, uh, but don't sue me if, if they do check it. Because some smart players will. I check it because I know how powerful that spot is. You literally um, <clears throat> crouch right here and, and aim at level. And that's almost for sure a headshot. And if it's not, if you're full auto, your recoil is going to bring you up to a headshot. And all you got to do is sway to the right to match their speed at which they exit. Some people like hesitate right here. And then they'll go, Bam. Because they're, they're hesitating because they're just trying to listen for players right here. So, anyway. Sorry about the uh, my guy coughing. <coughs> I should have brought some food and water in. We're going to hopefully find some. My dog's barking. Alright, so this is ties back into that window, Sector 6 hallway. So we come down here. Um, I would call this vault hall, or you can call it elbow. Um, there's a lot of elbows, though. But this is like, you know... I call it vault hall or kitchen hall or office hall because there's only one vault, one kitchen, and one office in the map, and it's back. So you come around the corner to vault hall. People can be camping the vault, which is right there, or they can be sitting in the kitchen or looting. I don't think you can get behind this door, although if you could, that'd be a pretty good rat spot. No, you can't. So here's the vault. You have a purple key card. You can open the vault. Uh, I forgot to show you the NVG view. So this is Vault Hall with NVGs on. So if you have NVGs, you can actually see players back there pretty easily. But if you have no NVGs, unless you got a flashlight, but that flashlight's going to give you away instantly, you know. So um, players can be in here. Uh, it's really easy to get killed if you're pushing this. So there's a med cabinet here. There's several desks. Loose loot can spawn on this shelf. Uh, an equipment crate, and look, we just found a PBS-7. A uh, file cabinet lootable there, desk there, wooden crate there, ammo can there, desk there, desk there. So that's all the loot that's in the office. And then this is kitchen, slash cafeteria. Um, I've seen players standing right there when I came to loot this, um, but he ended up being chill. Um, med cabinet here, you can spawn uh, bandages and whatnot, bandages and wrists. Ammo can there. Viper sauce can spawn right here. Loose food items can spawn anywhere on these two counters and on that shelf, I think. You can also find a purple key card right here on this shelf. Very rare, but there's a chance. Um, and then Tweejix cheese spawns right here. So we got Viper sauce and Tweak cheese. I pronounced his name wrong just now. Tweak cheese and Viper sauce, though. Lonely guy for soft spawns in here. So if you spawn here, you have a chance to make 40 grand right off the bat. Player spawn right there. So that's a potential player spawn as well. I neglected to mention that before. Now we will go back out the vault hallway. Back to main hallway to red junction. We're going to go through the main hallway to red junction. And at red junction, we've got this spool, by the way. If you watched my last video, you saw me kill Kurtek like this. That's a really good strat. Bait Kurtek. So this is the other Kurtek room. You bait Kurtek out here. And you um, you hide right here. And you pop, 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 pop them in the head. They can't shoot you. Because they, like, they'll point their guns at you. But if you're hidden enough, they can't, like, they don't see enough to shoot. Is what I've noticed. Or you're just too high or something. Anyway, just... You can get stuck right here. Don't fret though. You just push your thumbstick forward and spam jump and eventually you will get out. But yeah, you can get stuck in that little corner, so be careful of that. Um, but yeah, that's a really this is a really good spot to go Kurtek and it's catch the players off guard if you want to camp right here. Bam bam, bam bam. So 
All of that. So here we have Kurtex room. This is called Hole in the Wall. Naturally. This is Kurtex room. Some people call this Top Boss. Some people call this Skylight because there's the crack at the top. You can see the stars through. In here we have a locker, a wooden crate, a armor crate. I forgot to mention the armor crate uh, in containers. Anyway, up at the top we have, uh, we also have a sneaky little um, uh, mask there. That's the welding mask that, uh, that Tequila uses in Tarkov. If you're escaped from Tarkov fan, this is Tequila's mask. Or it's, it's modeled after that. It's not an exact replica, but... It's a nod to that game, because this game is like it. On the second floor, in the skylight room, we have two plastic crates. There's food and water. <coughs> and then back here, back into this hallway, and I would just call this Kurtek Hall, or Boss Hall, Skylight Hall. We have hole in the wall and the hole in the wall extract right here. So you can extract right here in the hole in the wall. It's also a decent spot. If you've got a team killing Kurtek, you can have one teammate there, one teammate here, and one teammate back up to rotate out with this guy. The guy here has to be really good because this is the most vulnerable spot. But the guy right here, if they've got a lot of ammo, they can blind fire and everything and the player here can peek and shoot and they can swap out with the third yep, now I'm taking damage I'm gonna go find some food I know there's some water back here I'm gonna drink all that water the scabs respawn but yeah after about I want to say like 10 minutes the scabs will respawn so if you've got any scab kill missions uh, this is a good map to do them on Remember to drink like you're drinking out of a straw. Anyway, sorry I forgot to bring food. Um, cool that we're not dying now. We may still cough because of the lack of food, though. We will learn our lesson for next time. Oh, I forgot to mention Sector 6. This is a good spot to sit if you know there's a player in Skull. This is a good spot to sit because you have a lot of cover. Um, just try and stay quiet. You can also crouch right here. Duck your head down a little bit so they don't see it. And then they'll, when they come this way, if they come, come down the Sector 6 hallway. Um, and it's not very vulnerable to behind you because this door gives you cover and that metal grate. Which is only... It's, it's rarely penetrable. So we'll go back to three-way junction here. And we'll go into this room. I call this dark room. Sometimes uh, it's on the back side of the generator. Sometimes you call it back generator. That's not really call it. I just made that up. Med cabinet here. Locker here. And a small box there. So players will... This is a little rat spot right here. I don't know why I dropped my gun. I don't know how I dropped my gun. I didn't mean to drop my gun. This is a little rat spot right here. It, you'll notice, like if you check, you'll tell. It'll be really hard, but you'll see a couple of spots that are kind of shiny. If it doesn't look like that, pitch black, then there's a player there. And obviously, if you put your NVGs on, it's going to be really easy to see them. But this is a good hiding spot because it's so dark. I've actually hit here trying to do the seven player with a Makarov mission and got like two kills. That. I'm dying from hunger. So. Or find me a candy bar in this locker or something. Yep. So we come through here to a connector. I call this red connector. Into garage. So there's two ends to garage. There's boxes and there's gate. That's it's split in half. And let me check this out. Okay. Now we're I may just have to. I didn't realize it was gonna take this long. But it takes a while for this to be a good, make a good video, you know? So here is a spawn. We call this back garage spawn or uh, sector 9 spawn. <laughs> so if you spawn here and you're naked, there is a locker here. I'll turn my MVGs on because I can't even see it. Um, there is an AKS. There's some chocolate. Anyway. You can find a gun there pretty regularly, so if you're naked, that's a good spot to check. 
Um, that is the um, only spawn that's this close to garage. There's one other over there. But whoever whoever spawns here has the best shot, the uh, first shot at elevator. Um, so uh, there's at least usually one scab that spawns back in here, which we did not get any scabs back here. But yeah, so I call this boxes, and I call that and gate. You can say boxes side or gate side, and that's the split is this doorway here, pretty much. Um, and then uh, we got van, truck, gate, um, red box or uh, airdrop or you know shipping crate. This is the generator, so you can say generator if they're over here. Um, you can go behind this crate, and there's a scab spawn back here. There's also a loot crate there. Sometimes a scab will spawn over here. Here's the gate extract. A little sneaky fact you can get back here. Camp the gate extract if you're desperate. Oh, I just died. I just died. I fell to death. Whoa. Hold on a second. Hold on a gosh dang second. I don't know how I just fell. I'm going to grab these peaches so that we don't have that same problem this way. Okay? I'm looking out for y'all. Let's go back into Missile Silo. Let's show you the rest of the map. Okay, we spawned in the same spot, luckily. That's interesting. So, yeah. Cabinet there. It's lootable. This is garage. Scabs over there. Scabs over here. So, he spawned right there. Crate in the back of this van here. Um, hide behind this truck's also a decent spot if you want to camp uh, elevator extract on that side. You can kind of sit right here. You'll see, you'll see players coming through there. That's a good spot. Um, yeah, I'm going to check this out. So I fell to my death, it said. I must have just starved to death and it just, it just changed the term maybe. I don't know because I've never had that happen before. I'm trying to get it to repeat. <laughs> anyway, um, it's a risky spot. <laughs> That's never happened, and I've come back here a dozen times, so I'm guessing that was starvation. I wasn't watching my watch. So, see, we can kill people from back here. If you hide right here and crouch, they won't see you until you hear them, and then you can peek and shoot. Um, but yeah, that's just a little cheeky little extra camp spot. Here's a crate. We wrap around here towards the generator, and we can take a right from this elevator shaft. Open this crate. You see there's nothing in it. Not crate. Sorry, med cabinet. You can jump across to this if someone's in the elevator. This is a decent spot to go and peek. Because sometimes they'll, they'll expect you over there, and they'll start to peek. And um, they'll be strafing across here, and you can really quickly mow them down like that. But anyway, let's, uh, so let's jump across to the, oh, I missed it, but I cut the door. So, we're at the top of the elevator shaft. Remember, this goes down all the way down to the bottom. It also goes up. I'll show you. We'll do a whole elevator shaft bit, but I'm going to show you the elevator room. So, in the elevator room, we have a med cabinet. We have a... Whoa, 506 AP. Yeah, it's pretty empty though. I wish you could recycle ammo into brass and powder. That would be cool. That armory level three or the um, maintenance room should have. This is sorry. This is a tangent. The armory or the maintenance room should have a machine you can upgrade to buy. And I could take, say, this tracer powder, 50 AE. Like I don't want 50 AE tracer. It's empty anyway. But. I dump it into this machine and it would spit out brass and powder. It would spit out whatever powder the ammo was and then just brass according to how many. Like 10 rounds is one thing of brass or something like that. Maybe less. Who knows? Who cares? Anyway, file cabinet, another ammo crate, like C762 by 25. Let's say I want all of that brass and all of that FMJ powder. Here we've got an equipment crate. You can also find a backpack in the floor there. Sorry about that. Too. Um. <clears throat> So that's the other squeaky elevator door right there. We'll show you the rest of the shaft later. I'm going to show you the rest of level three. 
third floor. So we go to the opposite end of the garage. <coughs> and you will see that there is no scab over here. I don't believe there's a crate over here, but I could be mistaken. I'm gonna check. Yeah, there's no crates in this end of the map. Well, not in this part of the garage. But anyway, so we go into here, turn our NVGs on, the garage, we go into here. Um, I just you can just call this back a garage spawn, but there's a player spawn in here, all the way back here, right in this room. This is the back room. So I don't know what you call this. Pretty much no engagements happen here, so you don't really need to make up a call out for it. The players spawn here; they go that way. Um, here's a room it has two small wooden crates in it. I don't believe it has. A, yeah, it has no lootable lockers. Um, when you spawn here, you can take a right to go to garage or a left, and this connects back to a part earlier in the video. Up to I'm three right. scabs, <laughs> by the way. Up to three. So that's spool room or rat rat's nest. Remember, and there's a oh shit. Oh yeah, scab can spawn in the um the two level stair room as well. I forgot to mention that. He shot me once. So there's a one locker here. Up to three scabs in here. Um, here we are in rat's nest again. So rat's nest can connect down. So <clears throat> we have that player spawn here, and the player spawn at the uh, the uh, missile gate or sewer gate. I mean, so players from sewer gate usually will come up that stairs and come up or come up the ladder and come up the stairs, and players from uh, back of garage will be in here. So this is usually the first fight of the raid. Is right here um, <clears throat> so that's kind of why I call it rat's nest because they'll they'll come here they'll know that there's players over there they'll come here and they'll camp uh, as long as the scabs aren't a problem or they'll come over here um, or they'll just run up and run out the missile so this is where rat's nest connects to missile right here and uh, you can hide behind here catch players off guard anyway so if we wrap around the missile, we'll see it connects back to Ballard. And this time we do have some loose loot. Holy cow, that's rare. A battery is spawned here. That's 30 grand. And there is a tackle box. So here's main hall over to Red Red Junction. Remember uh, Vault Hall? Sector 6 hallway. And that is how it all goes together. Air tech room, skylight room. So that's where it all connects. So now we're gonna go. The dogs are barking. We're gonna go back over to elevator, three story. Um. So we, yeah, I showed you elevator. We're gonna go up. So this is the only. This is like an isolated part of the map that has no loot. But I've seen players come up here. And they have sat right here. And if you crouch, you can actually watch the elevator. People go into elevator and kill them. Um, I've been killed this way once this wipe. Um, so anyway, there's that. You can't open this elevator, sadly. Um, <coughs> but watch out, because there's a lot of holes in the floor. You'll fall to your death, especially if you fall through um, that one. I think. There's one of these holes where you'll definitely die. Well, maybe not. You'd land, you'd land on that platform down there, and that one you'd land on that one. Anyway, this ladder brings you up to the surface extract. I believe this is called surface. I'm going to turn the compass on to be sure. <coughs> Show compass. Sewers. Containers near. Oh, maybe it doesn't show me the ones that I can't take. Anyway. Uh, I believe it's called surface or it's above elevator. It's not above elevator. I think it's surface. So don't quote me on that, but it's right above the elevator shaft. It's at the top of this ladder right here. So that is the extract above the elevator. We go back down to the third floor here. I already showed you this spot right here. You also have this platform down here. Pretty self explanatory. This ledge here. Which, if you're trying to get down without using the ladder and without taking damage, you run on this platform. I'm sure this is pretty self-explanatory, but for those who don't know, you run 
you just run. Actually, I don't even think you have to run. You just jump. Well, you got to have some forward momentum. But anyway, you just walk forward and jump off that platform and you'll land on this ledge. You check right there. And you jump and you turn around and you check there. And then you check here again. And then, here we are back in the sewer. The dogs are barking again. But here we are back in the sewer at uh, Sewer Main Hall. Um, oh, there's that scab I told you all about. We have one more area to show you. So this scab, super easy to kill. Then we got a MAT-49, we got uh, MP-40, and then we got a SPH-68. Anyway, or a SPH-5, sorry. So last, the last area I need to show you, remember, level 2, that's um, train tracks and um, containers. That's the electronic wallet. And it connects to the missile with those two rooms with crates. Level 3, this is Sector 6. It connects to the Sector 6 hallway. Branches out into what I call main hallway. Left side is the red junction. Right side you can go left to missile or right to kitchen, um, vault, and offices. If you go left, you go to the um, missile, which leads you to rat's nest. You keep going, you get to the back of the garage, you can wrap around to the front of the garage, go through the elevator shaft. So that's how that whole map adds up. You can go up one more floor. Level three, the fourth floor. Just yeah, just ignore that. Just add one to that. It's the fourth floor. Player spawn here. Right here. You have a good chance for some loose loot to spawn on either of these tables. I have found, literally, I, I kid you not, I have found. A, um, oh yeah, and on the beds. All of the beds, I think. Not for certain on the beds, but yeah, check the beds too. Um, see, if you're naked, bam, gun. This is the naked spawn. Like, if you spawn naked up here, you're good. Like, you're gonna come out of the rig, kid. You're gonna kill all the players. I kid you not, I found a stoner drum on this. 150 round stoner drum on that. Um, there's no loot back here, I don't believe. Um, just a good little hiding spot. If you're getting chased or if you hear some players coming up the stairs to you, right here is a really good spot. When I was doing the Makarov mission one time, I hid right here when a player was chasing me and I just popped him a bunch of times and killed him. <clears throat> so in here we have the locker room. This is barracks, this is the locker room, fourth floor. It's all the same. There are no little cabinets on the left side of the locker room. There are three total though. There's one right here in the middle, little book cabinet in there, look, if you're naked. If you're naked, there's a guarantee for a gun. I mean, I out of three lockers and those beds, there's no way you don't find a gun. So here's the second locker on this second bay in the right side, and the last locker is with these little three by the stalks. So we found three rifles. We found an AKS, an AKM, and a FAMAS up here. So you're, you're good if you spawn up here naked. So loot those real quick, and then you run down, and you... Kill everyone else. And um, you can only shoot up through these grates, I think. Like if I shoot, one of those bullets will land. See that? However, if you shoot upwards through them, they do land. So, yeah, so that's kind of messed up. The game's a little glitch. See how those bullets landed on the wall and those didn't? So, this is a very vulnerable spot because I think you can even. Hold on, there's a scab here. I think you can even penetrate through two levels of it. So I'm going to shoot up through this stairs. Okay, so that's one last. This is the last tip I want to show you all is that, yeah, see, that penetrated all the way. So a player from all the way down at the bottom can kill you all the way up there at the top. And you can't even see him through all that grating. He, this player just knows you're there because he hears you, you know what I mean? But yeah, all the way up. And this is FMJ, this is not AP. Yeah, you saw those hit in the ceiling? That was almost empty. So that's the last tip I want to show you. Train tracks, containers. Just remember remember the call-outs. So don't memorize floor level. That doesn't matter. Sector 6. And barracks. So if we look up here... Well, I don't see any bullet holes. Oh, yeah, I do. I do. Bullet holes on the ceiling. So, yeah, you can literally be standing here, looking down. 
And you cannot shoot. You cannot shoot through this downward. You can only shoot up through it. Insanely stupid. But it's the game we we live in. So there you have it, folks. That is my missile silo map guide. Uh, let me know what I missed. If you enjoyed this guide, uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, I work hard to make these videos out for you guys. I uh, balance this with my full-time job and school, so I appreciate you all for the support. And I will see you all in the next video where I will be showing you the island of Tabor. Thank you all so much for watching. I have been Dino. Sub if you enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next